undoing the seeds of self-sabotage. Again and again, energy healing returns to the principle that separation from wholeness has crept into the sense of self, ego. This one thing repeatedly shows up as the core issue behind problems of all types. For each person, the way in which this imbalance manifests, as well as the path to healing the ego, differs. These healing reports and the work behind them shine light on the connection between a definable problem and the loss of connection with true self. Today, we are looking at how the effectiveness of any therapy, solution, antidote, or healing process is rejected or discounted. This is the opposite of the placebo effect. It leads to ongoing chronic problems. It also leaves impressions in the body that life is impossible, hopeless, and most of all, that the love and grace of God cannot be trusted. Without trust, internal blockages stop the flow of healing energy. Under this problem, there is a little twisted belief. This is being revealed and resolved now. The belief is that the act of seeking a therapy, antidote, solution, etc., validates failure. For example, one only goes for therapy when their life is falling apart, not when they have their life together and are living up to their ideal. Problems manifest when the ego identifies with this failure. The therapy itself activates a belief, I am a failure thus increasing the root of the problem rather than addressing it directly. Clearing centuries of cultural conditioning that strengthens this belief and identification with being a failure from the ancestral archive, DNA, and epigenome, as well as the memories of the soul. Shining the light of truth on the Western precept that virtue and humility are defined as downplaying one's value as a person. Balanced truth is the key. Deficiency brings self-deprecation. Excess brings narcissism. Balance creates room for self-acceptance of your current position within the spectrum of personal development. An expansion of self-acceptance within the context of your genuine truth, is taking place in the heart energy center. This acceptance sits in a harmonious relationship with a full and careful analysis of where you have been and where you are going. In this moment, your pure potential is activating. Regardless of the circumstances that brought you to this point, The potential to live life in the highest and best way is possible. In the delicacy of the human condition, the ego must balance the reality of being a unique individual with the reality of being the incarnation of wholeness. Divine being is pure truth, and this is the core of your essential nature. Individual personality, regardless of whether one is virtuous or criminal, is an extension of being in the material world. Everyone experiences positive and negative emotions throughout their lifetime. You are the force that drives all of these feelings to their destiny of returning home to being. Your God presence is creating a pathway for the energy signature of, I am a failure, to return to the source of creation. As this energy frequency journeys to its origins, the ancestors experience this resolution too. Self-identity is free to accept the true nature as divinity evolving. That means When you are learning new things or healing from past trauma, you are still the perfection of being going through a process of becoming even more brilliant. Every therapy, antidote, solution, etc. is merely a representation of the force of evolution that is the nature of your inner reality. 
These offerings from the universe don't define you. Engaging with them doesn't define you. Only the reality that you are already that presence that is helping to perpetuate cosmic evolution at this time in history, because you are that, is the definition that embraces both individual and universal reality at the same time. As the vehicle for understanding, the nervous system becomes flexible and stable by embracing this truth. At the material level of life, everyone has to compensate for various imperfections. After all, we eat in order to stay alive. If we were perfect, we would live on air, sunlight, and prana. Precious few humans are at that level of perfection, right? May all aspects of your nature, perfect and imperfect, inspire your actions, give meaning to life, and lead you to self-acceptance that truly reflects the relationship between divinity and the material world. Thank you for being with me.